emodels.co.uk. Make something awesome. Hi, and welcome back to uh, part two of the uh, eModels build of the new FX Scrum and uh, F6 F5 Hellcat. Okay, um, what we're going to do in this part is make a start on doing the cockpit. So you can see most everything's all from Brew D. Which is quite very well organized. See all the way down. Two, so parts oh, one to sixteen is doing the uh, cockpit. So I've got the sprue. See, not a, a huge sprue. There are two of, uh, the two of them in the bag. So we'll have a look at. See what details we've got. So this is the uh, floor of the cockpit with front engine this way. So the seat attached on top of here and the pedals at this end. So there's root designs, a couple of sort of panels on there. I think this will be around the back of the instrument panel. The bulkhead part details on there and it's the back of the seat floor of the seat I think no don't know what that is that's the floor of the seat part of the instrument panel so the uh, foot pedals and parts of the harness so the back shoulder straps and these are the lap straps and here the joystick so it's got all the bits and pieces on there so what we'll do is we'll cut a few bits and pieces off and uh, start gluing things together. So as the instructions say, we'll start off with this part, which is basically the base of the uh, cockpit and these uh, cross beams on there. So we'll get those fixed and that will look like this part. And then we fit some other bits and pieces. Most of these colours on their call out are 226, which, according to their uh, instructions, 226 is interior green. Uh, but what I got along with the kit from uh, eModels is this uh, uh, World War II US cockpits. So this has got, if you can see it, synchronate green. I'm presuming is a uh, wire correct colour. So a lot of the uh, inside of the cockpit will be done in this. So it's AMIG 220. Synchromate interior grey. So what I'll do, we'll do is make bits and pieces up and get into a stage where we can uh, start looking at priming them. Um, this has been a new kit, I thought I'd have a look see if you can spot a, a seam line or two. The only one you can see, and I don't think you can see it on here, is just along the side of this pipe. Here, there's a couple of little seam lines. In a gentle scraping with a knife, that'll work out of those. Um, so yeah, it's quite a lot of detail to start off with. So we'll uh, cut some pieces off, get them denubbed, and we'll uh, see where we go. I just thought I'd quickly show you where I'm up to. So I've started, say, parts one, two, and three. So I've got the uh, floor of the uh, interior cut out, and these are these red parts along here. Now these had tiny uh, ejector spin marks on them. A couple of them were fairly deep. Most of them were just, just the well, you could see them on there. Um, looking out the way they are on the model, uh, they're going like, like this. You really weren't probably going to see much of them if at all, but uh, I just thought I'd fill them up with uh, just some plastic putty and 
and uh, turn them off. And the same with these parts, these go under the uh, foot back. I think it's the seat that goes under there. Anyway, they go along here. Again, the same marks on the inside. So eject spin marks on the inside. Um, the other thing that happened as well, this snapped. Didn't put any pressure on anything like that, but uh, just want these to, uh, to snap. Um, so that's where I'm up to. So uh, this is the uh, joystick. So that fits across the middle. Sort of like that. So what I'll do is just work through well, suppose there's three different types of strut. There's nine and ten, which is the same. They have a little T-shape on it, pointing one way or the other. There's four sevens, which is just a straightforward part, and uh, in the uh, other side, you've got eight and eleven, which can have a little loop in them, and they just slot in, slot into these parts here. Can't really go wrong because that's where the little loop goes, little T, and the rest of them are just the straight. So what we'll do, we'll get uh, as you can see that's somewhere out. So we put it in and it doesn't line up with the little groove on here, you go the wrong way around. But the best way to to get worked out these place it spin. Marks are all pointing, say, towards me on this. You know, you're going the right way. So the next one's just a straight. So straight, the two has got three holes space, and two holes. The two holes go towards the back. Again, that's another way of working out where they go. Build up across. So that's a little uh, loop in there, so that matches up on there. And in the middle, you've just got two straight. So again, the other way around, so I have two holes at the back, three holes at the front. So you can see, two holes at the back, three at the front. the end ones which have two close together at the front come on focus and to the back right we well, see all the back ones line up and the ones at the front are slightly different so they're on there and they all fit um, what else did I do with these uh, they had a tiniest little you can call it a seam line but a tiny little mark across the top obviously they've been uh, well, slightly marked by the mould, but you can't really sort of do anything about that. Uh, so a gentle rub, wasn't really a file, just a gentle rub along the top. Cleaned everything up. So I put that those all around the right place, so what we'll do, we'll get some, uh, get some glue on that. So you're just using the uh, extra thin, time you're extra thin as usual. Clear 
Bitcoin. Everything set down. There you go, so that's where we're up to. So we've made a start on there. So the joystick is made up of two parts. And the parts go to one inside, and the joystick itself, which makes up this uh, skirt effect. Again, let's glue that together. Give it a good squeeze and then first file the edges down on there and again just clean up the uh, slightest edge there was on there. The other thing I noticed this uh, slightly, very slightly bent. But I think once it's glued in, it'll be straight enough. But again, this is under the seat, so you won't, uh, won't see it. So this fits in. So fitting on the front. So again, we'll put these parts in in first. It's going to fit in this way around with the uh, ejector pin marks in the middle. So we can get some uh, some glue on there. It's a great uh, it's not the top of there, so I have to be uh, careful with that just to squeeze it too much. Yeah, straight up, get a bit of glue on that uh, joint. Parts go on here is this here, which is basically an extension of these pipes or cables. So if it's on like so. those goes up behind uh, the bulkhead which comes up here and lastly we get the joystick on so that fits over that clicks in like that and then fits in the front and there's a little groove at the back there with holds that in See so it uh, quite straight. So anyway, once it's glued down, it'll uh, it'll be fine. Yeah, get things glued.
I'm going to do is use a couple of clips to hold things in. So I'll hold the front one down. So that one is. So what we do with that, we use a little bit of uh, tape. springy. Okay, so that is where we're up to. That's part one to three done. I'm going to have to hold this until it, uh, it dries. So uh, we'll come back and we'll go do a bit more construction, make up the rest of it, and uh, then we can do a bit of priming and painting. I think looking at it, I might do this as a sub assembly, then the back as assembly, and the front, and then we can glue them together at a later date. That may make a bit of weathering easier as well. Um, so uh, I say we'll come back and have a look at that. Um, I'll leave you with me holding this and uh, till it dries. Okay, see you in a bit. Okay, well as you can see, it uh, did eventually dry, and uh, also I've uh, glued a few more parts on. So you can see we've got the continuation of the pipes along here, and this runs up the back of the panel along here put these parts in, these will then attach to the side, its side of the plane, and basically looks like a handbrake, with some sort of uh, lever there. So that's the, uh, the floor part done, so I can prime that up in a sec. What else have I done? Um, so say I've done the uh, panel at the back, so it's got this handle fitted, this cover over the, uh, the pipe work, and on the back, there's quite a few legit spin marks. I filled them in, because I suppose I've started doing it, um, but they're, uh, you can't actually see them. There is some construction back here, uh, which I'll show you in the uh, instructions in a sec. But uh, just for a peace of mind, and I'm doing it for somebody else, I'd uh, fill them in. So it's one of those things, at least I know they're, uh, they're filled in. I've uh, got the foot plate. Or to goes up to the pedals. Oh, this covers that just go over the seat, and then got the pedals themselves. Again, there's some shallow injector pin marks on here, and on these struts. And again, you're not going to see the ones inside, but this on the outside you might do. So I've filled them all, and there's a couple up here that be up, up behind the uh, instrument panel. So I've not done those. Other bits we've got, uh, there's the fire extinguisher, parts of the seat. Again, the back of the seat had a couple of uh, marks which are filled, and again on the side of the seat. This one's covered, but this one might be seen, so again, I fill the mole in. Uh, this is the uh, cushion, again with the uh, harness detail on. What else have we got? A bit of pipe work for the back. Of the uh, behind the seat, to leave it there. I think that attaches to uh, the oxygen. That's the support for the seat itself. The shoulder harness parts and the headrest on here. So 
let's say we're stuck a few pieces on there a couple of pieces on there the rest of it can be built up once it's uh, that's face the instrument panel so there's a couple of levers I put on there so ready for priming uh, some parts um, I think I'll make up the seat so that comes down like that Betting the way outside. It's a nice sunny day. Uh, so I thought I'd uh, take advantage of it <laughs> and sit here and make models. There we go, that's one side done. I'm going to get the other one on. Can find it, there we go. for a sec. Okay so that's got everything uh, primed up. Uh, I've used UMP's grey primer. Really good stuff this. Um, self leveling so you can put it on really quite thick and it comes up. It doesn't cover any of the details at all. So I've split things up into things that are going to be painted with the Synchromite AMIG 220. Well, the plans themselves, it's uh, Airfix is color 226, which I'll find the details here. So, this is your color call, call out. What's you can do with that? Everything works out. So, basically, it's about here. It's sort of a, a dark green color. So going with this one from uh, Mick. So I'll be painting these bits up in a sec, and at the other end we've got all the bits that aren't green or wholly green. So we'll get some uh, blanket colour down, and then we can pick out some details and uh, think about weathering. Okay, so I'll just get myself sorted out, and we'll be back once we've painted. Okay, so we've moved on a little bit. Uh, so I've painted everything up in the Synchromite interior green. That's this nice dark green colour. On the inside and the back, a couple of bits to uh, touch up. So what we've got in here, we've got the ends of the harness, power extinguisher, some piping. Um, this connects through to an oxygen bottle that we'll be building later and this lever which I've actually broken off three times what else have we got in here, we've got the uh, twist stick with the leather skirt at the bottom that I've just coloured with uh, some of the panel line just let it dry overnight it sort of, uh, gives a nice effect there, it's a bit shiny 
going to give this a matte uh, varnish when I've uh, done all the finish with it. Um, we've got the front bit on, and uh, it's got the bulkhead where the uh, pedals go. Now, fitting this, this didn't go, it sort of fits down snugly both sides, but in the middle it sort of got gaping, so I've had to keep scraping away at uh, the paint and get, uh, get it to fit properly. A bit of squeezing and holding as well did it. Um, fitting this part into here, as you can see, just these three lugs. That went through okay, and I did the uh, as I suggested use the. Let's give you an idea of the size of the thing. Can we get it on the screen? Sorry, I was saying. Also used the um, sides of the plane as a check to make sure everything lines up, which it does. Well, it does need a little bit of flexing, so it to fit. Around. So we'll have to see how that, that uh, works out when we uh, put the things together. But as you see, it all fits in there. So a lot more painting to do. So I'll put that to one side. So there, that's the uh, main part of the uh, cockpit done. So I've got a couple of uh, decals to. Uh, on so it's got a little one to the top here uh, but most of them are for this part go on this uh, part here I think there's about sort of five and go on this square here and two at the top so uh, as I show you in a sec I'm not sure they'll actually show up very well but uh, they're tiny and then we have on the uh, seat cushion there's again about another five on here. It's that part of letters that are shown underneath the uh, the buckle. And again, I'm just giving that uh, panel line wash just to bring out the uh, bit of detail. Let me show the other bits we've done. So we've got the rest of the harness. Again, I've painted this with I'm going to use X57 buff and just give it a once over with the panel line just to darken it down, pick out a bit of detail. And the last bit we've got is the seat itself, which just sits on like so, fits in, but we'll do that in a bit. So, what I'm going to do now is I've got to put in some decals on, which I noticed one of the uh, Comments on the uh, the previous part. Um, people call prefer to as uh, decals or decals. I don't quite call them decals or transfers. Decals. That's what we're doing. So I'll deposit there. We'll get uh, some uh, warm water and we'll uh, make a start. Back in a sec. Okay, so you can see we've uh, moved on a bit. Um, I was going to show you some of the decaling, but I uh, don't know if you can see if I get it to focus on something. Let's try up in here. So there's still the little uh, decals up there. Decals, the red parts, little white instructions, things. And pick some out on the seat as well. Some room numbers around the outside. And the instruction label. Um, I tried filming it, but it didn't really show, show very much because it's all bits of fingers and thumbs. So that's where we're up to. Focused again. So let's see it belts in. I just need to do a little bit of touching up down the inside of here on these because these are uh, attached together with a little bar. Um, attached them to the top of here. Ah, that was something I was going to tell you. Um, you can see the straps for the shoulder harnesses go down the back of the seat. 
in final instructions these would have been painted green these have been painted green in the uh, like the interior green but obviously the part of the harness so you should paint in the color that you're doing the, the harness in that's what I think anyway I think that works Focus is all over the place. Anyway, that's where we're up to. It's looking really pretty good so far. So I think we'll call that a bit done for now. Um, and oh, that's what I've done as well. A little bit of dry brushing, sort of scuffed up the bottom around the seats, just a couple of edges. Not sort of beaten to, to pieces, but it's just sort of the corners and things like that where you to get a bit of wear. What I've used for that is uh, that's the colours uh, dark aluminium. Well, I think that looks pretty good. I say it's not sort of beaten up, kicked about, but it just gives you a bit of a bit to wear and tear, like with the heel things around the, the uh, pedals would be, and just the edges where the harness bottles are banged and things like that. Okay, so we'll uh, we'll call this part done, and we'll come back in the next part one to uh, work out what I'm doing. Okay, thanks very much for watching. So as usual, pop along to uh, emodels.co.uk, build the website, pick yourself up one of these, they're really good, and uh, build along if you want. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and I'll be on with the part uh, three as soon as I've uh, done it. But uh, that's part two done. Okay, see you in the next one.